Who are you? Ah, that's the guys of YouTube. Who are you? You ask me that question. Who are you? Stupid question. Who are you? I love you, Jay. <laughs> happening this is Stephen this is time for another trip I'm just at Piccadilly train station in Manchester I'm heading over to London because my flight leaves from London and I'm going to Marseille to go and watch Paddy Evra play for Marseille against Victoria in the Europa League it is 20 past midnight and I am just lying on my bags in the terminal. Seems like it's quite a lot of people doing it actually. Hopefully I've not been robbed when I wake up. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get about three hours kip here, hopefully. We'll see. I'm trying to get my head down here inside the terminal and uh, the Roma team has just arrived over there and is all checking in on that one thing. Right, I'm here and I'm well tired because I've had about an hour's sleep. Right, let's get sorted. I'm in Marseille bus station and no but and Ebenezer, two subscribers that watch the channel. How cool is that? Say hello, boys. Hey, massive. <laughs> Time. It's one all. Olympic Marseille equalised with about 10 minutes or so to go in the first half. Uh, they, they had quite a few chances actually towards the back end of the first half. It looked really good. Uh, Victoria making a right go of it. I don't know what's going on with the stadium though. As you can see, there's a lot of fans in the bottom end there and in this end, which has been really loud, but there's nobody at all in that end. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Either way, it's an actually a really good atmosphere and it's had a cracking game of football so far. Hopefully we see Marseille get another goal in the second half and then uh, hopefully we see him get a nice home win.
game over. That is 2-1 Marseille. Came back into it. Um, brilliant goal at the end there. Just missed it. I nearly recorded it, but just missed it. Uh, oh, what an absolutely belting game and what an absolutely cracking stadium. Still don't know what's going on down there with that empty stand, but this was a belting game. And that leaves Marseille second in the group with a couple of difficult ways to fixtures to go. And then they finish up with Salzburg at home. Can they get through to the knockout stages? Well, I guess we're going to find out anyway. Right then, just in the hotel room, got back after the match, been for a quick drink, just chilling, uh, sorting all my stuff out, ready to go back tomorrow, really? I reckon. Who are you? Ah, that's the guys of you two. Ah, it's okay, it's okay. You're, the, you're a big Man United fan, so what's uh, and sit What's on the shirt, you. huh? What's on the shirt? Really? You asked me that question? It's a stupid question. I am a red devil. I thought it was a panda. The panda is during the day. For the evening, I am a red devil forever. You know what I mean? Joe, you know we've just been uh, having a chat and we Paddy just said, fucking misses Man United. I miss Man United. Miss, your, miss the fans. The fan, the passion was my life. You know, I think this club, no one, no one club in the world are bigger than Man United. So that's why I ask to all the fans to not be too harsh to the player they actually play right now and to support them. Because I remember on my time, they never boo any player. They were always behind us. And my best memory with the fan, where I know I say this fan, they are so loyal and they give everything for the player, is when we were losing 4-1 at Old Trafford against Liverpool. Remember that game? You remember that game? Does Vidic remember that game? <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Everyone remember that game. But actually, you know, when we came out of the pitch and all the United fans were singing, United, United. And I remember we get in the dressing room and Ferguson just said to all of us, guys, did you hear them? Should be, we should win the league for them. And I remember we were like seven points behind and at the end we win the league. And I think that, that league title was specially for the United fan because they, they're helping us. They, they, they were behind us in every moment, not only in the good moment, but as well in the difficult moment. So that's why my United fan represents so much for me and I miss them so much and like I say, I move, I change a lot of club, but I will never forget them and I am a Man United fan forever. And we never forget this guy, do we? So, <laughs> and don't Paddy forget, says, don't forget, I love this game! <laughs> <laughs> if this video gets 5,000 likes, he's coming doing my podcast. Easily, yeah. easily, I will come, easily, but he will do more than 5,000, are you serious? Uh, I don't know, maybe. 10,000, easily, 10, man. 10,000. You're talking... 1 million! No, no, maybe 10,000. Maybe 10,000. Maybe 10,000. <laughs>